Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Today we're going to do a bonus tutorial, which is to work on an abstract in our commonplace book. As you know, I work off book rather than in the book itself. I wanted to pick something that would go with the mermaid and something that was relatively quick and easy for you to do. Therefore, I dug around in my blue scraps, which are mostly printables at this point, though I do have jelly prints in blue as well. Found my base piece, cut that to an appropriate size for the page I'm putting it on, and then found more blue scraps, which I cut into rectangles and squares. And because my mermaid was glittery, I decided I wanted to do an abstract using gold foil. I have a lot because I bulk bought from both AliExpress and Timu, so you get about 100 in the wax squares. I'm using my Mod Podge here to be able to foil my scraps. And I don't want a clean result. I want it so that some of these underneath colours actually show through but not a lot, just little peaks, like something has been gilded or covered in gold and is worn, that shabby chic style. I won't claim to have it down on how to apply foil in long straight pieces. It seems to go everywhere with me. My fingers end up covered in gold foil, the wax greaseproof paper, kitchen paper that I'm using to protect everything gets covered in foil so it's just as well I bulk bought and very cheaply. I did say in a previous video that I would tell you more about commonplace books and how we're now using it as an art journal so combining two different styles of journaling. Really the, the story of commonplace books actually starts as early as writing and record keeping so back in ancient times scholars and philosophers sought out ways to preserve knowledge and wisdom. They transcribed quotes, ideas, observations into personal notebooks or diaries, which eventually evolved into what we now know as the commonplace book. Ideally, you'd have kept one of these from very young, but I didn't even discover what they were or what they consisted of until a couple of weeks ago. So it's a personal collection of thoughts, quotes, poems, snippets of inspiration that serves as a repository for ideas, treasure trove of knowledge, reflection of your own intellectual journey that perhaps you can pass down, hand on, or just keep so that if you come across an issue, you can go back and look at previous thoughts about it. It's not quite a diary because it's not saying what you've done each day nor is it a journal because that's a lot more long-winded the way we're using it in the art tribe is to add quotes or thoughts to a piece of art now while this is done with some art journaling and you see people add words or what they think is relevant to the picture here we're looking more at combining the journaling side or the commonplace book side with the art side so a little bit more detailed than an art journal, but not as detailed as a journal. A mid-place. Throughout history, many notable figures have kept commonplace books, from Leonardo da Vinci to Thomas Jefferson. They recognised the value of capturing their thoughts and experiences into one place, and these books became a source of inspiration a way to organise ideas and a means of self-reflection. Today you don't have to obviously use it as an art journal or a journal journal. You could even put it digitally and capture things that way. But most people seem to prefer using pen, paper or art techniques for it. It doesn't really matter how you do it. The purpose remains the same and it's to capture and preserve the essence of your own intellectual journey or what inspires you. Obviously, you might be wondering, well, what's the point? There's very little original thought, but this is about a personal reflection. And one reason you might want to keep it is that you can engage with the ideas of others. We all talk about how everyone takes a stance on social media and doesn't listen to another's point of view. 
and that we're getting more contracted in our thoughts rather than expansive, which was originally predicted with the age of the internet, that it would expand our abilities, expand our knowledge. So one reason for keeping a commonplace book is actually to approach it as an area of expansion of knowledge, to engage with alternative ideas through quotes, which are often nowadays put up as memes. But then it's not just to put the meme down, but expand on what it would mean to you personally or why you reject it even. The idea is basically to foster a deeper understanding of the world, not just from our perspective and our experiences to date, but to take on board other people's perspective and experiences, especially those in a global age from other cultures, other backgrounds. Of course, it also serves as a creative outlet and I've taken that point of it being a creative thing and made it into more of an art journal style commonplace book so that it will be more beautiful to look at rather than just pages and pages of my scribbly handwriting. Once you start keeping one, you become much more open to hearing wisdom from others and taking it on board and mentally noting it so that you can make a note of it later. You can do a page in your commonplace book that will reflect that. All of which means you're opening yourself up to learning more. Obviously, if you keep one for a number of years, so you might have several commonplace books, you can go back to your first musings, thoughts, snippets of poetry that you put in there or wisdom of others and see how much you may or may not have developed that thought or dismissed it or delved into it deeper. It provides a space for your personal growth, reflection and development. And within Art Tribe, it's providing a space for your artistic growth and development as well. I'm using this to experiment with different ideas and techniques within art potentially to discover one's own style or what one likes doing and to give you a taster of lots of different things that go on with mixed media. As people in Art Tribe are aware, I am particularly fond of a stretch canvas, but I do understand that not everyone wants to create in a year 24, 30 canvases or more because where will they hang them if they're not going to sell them? I do have an art journal but I do find it wasteful because often what I end up producing in an art journal, I'd rather have framed. Therefore, the commonplace book combining art experiments with wisdom and ideas and quotes and personal development and self-reflection seem to combine very nicely two things together in a book format. That is not to say everyone in Art Tribe has to produce a commonplace book. They can do this as an art journal or they can do it on board or canvas and do it as a print of some sort to go on a wall. For me, my commonplace book is going to be an art playground so that when I come to do a canvas, it might be that I translate an idea that I've already done in my commonplace book and then repeat it to a canvas size. Or I may keep everything totally separate I have no idea yet. This is just a journey we're going on together. Art Tribe is myself and Emma's version of a Patreon. It's $10 a month and you do get exclusive videos and an exclusive Facebook group. The link to find out more details is in the description of this video. And now we're just finishing off with this mixed media abstract art with the gold foiling, adding yet more yacht varnish to blend it into the black art journal that I'm using as my commonplace book. I'm adding some black permanent ink to the edges of the piece. I'm using double-sided tape, but you can use any glue to place it into the book. I hope you enjoyed this taster tutorial from the Art Tribe, and I will catch you very, very soon.